Hi, I'm Emily Muehlstein, and this is a presentation on a framework action that considers recreational red snapper accountability measures. So the council aims to reduce the probability of exceeding the recreational red snapper quota by establishing additional recreational accountability measures. The current recreational red snapper accountability measure is an in-season closure. In a recent court ruling, it was found that National Marine Fishery Service did not require adequate accountability measures to prohibit the retention of red snapper after the recreational quota was met. So in response, the council initiated an emergency rule that added a 20% buffer to the recreational quota. The council is now considering adding additional re recreational red snapper accountability measures. Action 1 considers establishing an annual catch target, which is a level of harvest that's set below the quota to ensure that the quota is not overrun. Alternative 1 is the no action alternative. Alternative 2 would establish an annual catch target using a 20% buffer based on the annual catch limit annual catch target control rule. Alternative 3 would establish an annual catch target using a 30% buffer, which is based on the 2012 overage. Alternative 4 would establish an annual catch target using a 40% buffer, which is based on the average of the 2011 through 2013 overages. And Alternative 5 would establish an annual catch target using a 60% buffer based on the 2013 overage. This figure shows you, based on our current quota of 5.39 million pounds, what the different alternatives would look like. Action 2 considers overage adjustments. Alternative 1, the no action alternative, would not establish overage adjustments. Alternative 2 would deduct the full amount of an overage from the quota in the following season while Red Snapper is under a rebuilding plan. Alternative 3 would also deduct the full amount of an overage from the quota in the following season while Red Snapper is under a rebuilding plan. And it would also reduce the annual catch target further in the following season by 100% of the overage, 50% of the overage, or 30% of the overage. So this figure shows you the consequences of a hypothetical overage. If you look to the left, we're using that 5.39 million pound quota. And if we decide to establish an annual catch target with a 20% buffer, that leaves us with 4.31 million pounds. If we have a hypothetical overage of 500,000 pounds, we would reduce our initial quota, which is 5.39 million pounds, by the 500,000 pounds, and then add a 20% buffer from there, resulting in an annual catch target of 3.91 million pounds. Now we'll also need to consider options A through C. Option A would reduce the annual catch target further by the full amount of the overage, and that would give us 3.41 million pounds as an annual catch target. Option B would reduce the following year's quota by 50% of the overage, leaving us with 3.66 million pounds. And option C would reduce the quota by 30%, leaving us with an annual catch target of 3.76 million pounds. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video, and we would love for you to submit your comments. The council plans to take final action by August, and we request that you submit them before our August Council meeting, uh, either online at this following link or by emailing us at golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org.